What is going on everybody, Nick is back here with another video and today, today I am going to be teaching you all how to get 1 to 99 magic while remaining at that big 10 hit points. Now as you can see on this account I have not done that just yet, however, <laughs> it was my plan but I kind of got lazy. So yeah, be prepared for that. Okay, so a quick disclaimer is that this guide will not be the quickest guide to get 99 magic. It will not. Well, maybe it will be. I guess. It depends. I'll also be doing like an AFK guide at the end of the video, like a quick one, which is splashing. If you don't know what splashing is, it's basically where you wear a full suit of armor, make your magic at minus 65, and you blast the fuck out of your opponents. But you can also alch and splash, which I'll do in the splashing guide, because I wanted the splashing to be a completely different guide that I do on my channel. But um, yeah, so let's get this show on the road. Okay guys, from 1 to 3 magic, you're going to be casting Wind Strike, and you'll cast this 32 times, may maybe less. It's 32 times if you splash. Now, you can splash this if you have like, armor or something on or just whatever the hell you want really uh, but yeah even if you don't splash this even if you do actually hit the casts it will not level up your hit points before you get to level 3 so you're completely fine okay and from level 3 okay now from level 3 magic you will be casting Confuse, and you will cast this 92 times. This will re require 276 water, 184 earth, and 92 mind runes to accomplish 11 magic. Now you're just going to simply click, pow, click, pow. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Now this will be very time consuming, I'm not going to lie, up until 25 magic people in free to play may struggle like hell because of course there's going to be loads of people here training but because i'm in members you know it's pretty damn simple all right next one okay guys now 11 to 19 you will cast weaken you will cast this 125 times which will require 375 water 250 earth and 125 mind runes now, this may take a short while because if you click there, you can clearly see it will say your foe's strength has already been lowered, which means you cannot cast it on him for a certain amount of time. I'm not too sure how, I think it's like 30 seconds or something, so not too bad. But yeah, it shouldn't take you no more than 10 minutes to get to 90 magic, which you will begin casting Curse. You will cast Curse 18 times to get it to 20 magic. This will cost 36 water runes, 54 earth, and 18 mind runes. Really simple, really easy, and uh, yeah, you only have to cast it 18 times so you're not doing this for long. And then you are on to Bind. This will be for 20 to 25 magic. You will cast Bind a total of 113 times. You will require 339 earth runes, 339 water runes, 226 nature runes. And simply all you do is click that, wait literally 5 seconds for it to release your opponent. So this is probably the quickest method so far out of all of them. And he should be about ready to go again. There we go, as you can see, boom. 113 will take you no longer than 10 minutes. Okay, and once you have reached 25 magic, from 25 to 31 magic, you will be casting the Vararok Teleport. This will require 200 casts, uh, so 200 fire runes, 600 air, and 200 lore runes. Really simple, all you're going to do is just keep spam clicking this. You can look, watch a movie on your other screen or just drag the screen to the side so you can half screen it and just keep spam clicking that motherfucker. And with this magic guide I would get used to just watching something while you're spam clicking because when I get to high alchemy it's gonna take the piss. Okay guys, so from 31 to 37 you will be casting the Lumbridge Teleport. You will cast this 309 times. This will require 309 earth runes, 927 air runes and 309 law runes really simple really quick yeah that's <laughs> that's about it this shouldn't take you no more than 20 minutes i'd say you know 
even less than that man it's only six levels at a really low level so really quick from 37 to 45 magic you're going to be casting the Falador teleport this will require you to cast it 710 times requiring 710 water runes 2130 air runes and 710 law runes very simple very quick very easy okay guys now you can do this this can go two ways you can either go 45 255 for the high alchemy which is what most people do and what I would strongly recommend or you can go 45 to all the way to 99 which some people do do I don't like I think it's cheaper than high alchemy I do I believe it is cheaper than high alchemy but only by a little bit it all depends on what you're alking if you're alking something out what is just taking your money i wouldn't recommend doing that anyway i just recommend changing what you're alking because there are better stuff out there maybe not to make profit but to try even out that gp per xp okay i've just got away from there because that guy was kind of annoying that like like constant teleportation all right so if you go into just 55 you will require 100 now 1895 casts which will require 9,475 air runes, 1,895 law runes. Of course, if you're equipped in the air staff, you'll have unlimited air runes anyway, so we'll only need the law runes. Okay, and to get from 45 to 99 using the Camelot teleport, it will require 233,747 casts, requiring, here we go, 1,168,735 air, air runes so I would strongly recommend having a staff and once again 233,747 law runes but if you chose the method that most people choose you will choose high alchemy alright guys so finally from 55 to 99 you are going to be doing the high alchemy grind which i'm sure we've all done before if we've ever got high magic now what i used to do was just like afk at the abyss because i was lazy but it costs a shit ton really it does so for most people i would not recommend that and the good thing about high level alchemy is you get you most of the things you're going to high alk you'll be able to buy them on the ge and high alk them for more than they bought on the ge but because the price won't add up above the nature and how much they cost to buy on the GE, you won't be making profit. You'll still be losing, but not so much. And you'll still be, like, kind of making gold. So I guess if you put, like, 1 million towards it, high arced everything you could, you you have, like, I don't know, 500k GP, imagine that, and you could do that, and you keep doing that until that money's drained and put another mill towards it, which I would recommend doing. But Or you can just, like, merch and flip, which I'm going to do a guide about soon, while you're high arcing okay from 55 to 99 magic using the high alchemy this will require you to cast it 197,967 times this will require 989,835 fire runes 197,967 nature runes and the item that you are alking will you will need it 197,967 times so bear that in mind people it's not just the runes you need to buy for this one you also need to buy the item and boom with doing this guide you should have 99 magic and only 10 health uh oh damn that's upsetting all right and an alternate method to all that is splashing now splashing is very good and actually no it's a very bad way to get 99 because it's very expensive and it takes a shit ton of time now i haven't really worked out all the statistics on this I haven't worked out the experience per hour how many casts it's going to cost because this guide is mostly just for the general way by you know confuse all the way to weaken etc etc however i will be doing an in-depth splashing guide for you all and all you have basically really need to wear is full iron this what i wear full iron and van braces you'll I'd also recommend getting a staff just to you know there are better staffs out there but i'm not too sure what it is at the moment because i personally i don't splash however i will figure it out for you so just make sure your magic is 
on attack bonus is minus 65, no less than that, because otherwise you will hit. And if you're hitting, you're getting hit points experience, and you're also going to kill the opponent, so it's not very AFK able. But as you should be able to see here, I'm just going to constantly splash it. I'm never going to hit this guy. Now, this is the place I would recommend, because even in free-to-play, there's always a chicken spare, which you can just, you can just grab off the boss. Or whoever's really training there, so it's perfect. Now you can do all this all the way to 99, you can, for the cheapest method, really cheap, it's fire strike all the way to 99, but god that'll take a long time. And um, yeah, I'm going to do an in-depth splashing guide very soon, hopefully within the next week for you all, so if you do want to splash, stay tuned. And if not, I thank you all so much for watching the video, I hope it helped, I really do. And uh, yeah, you're all amazing people. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently. I've been super busy in real life, really busy, sorting out a ton of shizer. And uh, yeah, so I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.